Well, right now I'm doing a, um, a fuel return blowdown, uh, actually a clean out on the um, fuel system for my uh, 1994 Chevy Silverado turbo diesel 6.5 liter. And uh, uh, as you see, I've got a um, clear plastic quarter inch ID tubing going into the return line. It goes down here for the bottle. Okay. I have that attached to a uh, half inch to a uh, quarter inch barb fitting which is hooked up to my handy dandy shop back which now is blowing air into the uh, down the uh, fuel return line, diesel fuel return line and walk back here for a minute go back to the, of course the gas cap is off and if you have a clear line, you should be able to hear that bubbling in there. A little gurgling, okay. Um, anyway, I've been getting some air in my uh, air in my fuel system, and have to be constantly venting my uh, my T valve there, which should. Nor which normally uh, is where the water collects at and you vent the water off out of the fuel, but I'm getting a lot of air in the line and I'm getting intermittent stalling problems. So um, uh, I decided to do a uh, check on the, this part of the system here, ran some clear tubing on there. As you see, I've got the one piece going into the bottle, which was disconnected. That comes from the, uh, the DB2 pump. Uh, it's pumping fine, no air bubbles in the system. Uh, from that part going, you know, going towards the, going out of the system into the uh, fuel return, so I was suspected maybe the fuel return was blocked or restricted, so I decided to run this. Now what I'm going to do, I've been blowing air in here for a little bit, and I've been cycling it back and forth, okay? I'm going to turn this from, from a blow type of scenario to suction. And so now I'm going to pull a little fuel up and I'm going to blow it back down the line. I've done this a couple of times. Okay. Now you'll see, pretty soon we'll see some, uh, some fuel getting pulled up the line. So I know that the, I know the fuel's flowing. Okay, got the bubble in there. Let's set it off. Okay, you see it's dropping back down there. And I am going to now go back, pull that off. Put that back on to blow. Pressure. Okay. I'm gonna blow that back down there. Okay, so I've done this a number of times, and uh, just to get it to move back and forth. If I have any black or crap biofilm buildup or whatever the heck might be in there after uh, 17 years of use. Um, Hopefully this should do the trick, and I should get rid of my uh, my air bubbles at the key valve again right here. And uh, I have to blow, I have to vent this thing probably every I don't know, could be 20 miles, could be 50 miles, 60 miles, but I have to do it fairly regular. So and I've eliminated a lot of the other. I had a couple potential air leak issues with the uh, actually with the valve itself, and I went and uh, uh, repacked it, put a gasket on it. Uh, with an O-ring on it, so I had some fuel that was actually getting by there, so there was a leak, and I blocked that off, and I'm still getting this issue, which could be from the uh, from restriction in the uh, return line, so hopefully this should do the trick. And I've got my favorite, uh, here's the hose, the fuel hose connection for that part. Uh, going from the fuel pump to the return line. You see it's worn down a little bit here. Kind of rubbed on the uh, on the side of the uh, the intake and a little course of time. And I got a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, cloth braiding showing. And here's my favorite stuff for fixing non-heat related or real where areas where it's really hot. My brush on electrical tape. Great for fixing pinhole leaks and hoses. Um, rebuilding, uh, rebuilding some hoses. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. You know, if you got cracking, I wouldn't do it for large gashes. But 
I've actually done it on tires before, sidewall, from, from sidewall leaks, uh, and it's held up for, you know, a short period of time, so um, any of this type of uh, brush on electrical uh, liquid vinyl uh, material works pretty good. So that's what I got for now, and uh, hopefully this is helpful to some people out there that may be experiencing some similar issues with stalling relative to the uh, air in your fuel system on a diesel. Thank you. We'll see ya. Have a good day.